recently have experienced art block. Things like my artwork was not enough, was not worth to spend time on it. Every time I feel like this, I don't stuck on it. Instead, I seek refuge in some typical things I always do in these cases. I want to show you in this video, so maybe I can help some of you in the same situation. Hi, and welcome back to a new video. My name is Luigi, also known on social media as Illustrazioni di Lut, and I'm a physicist and self-taught artist. I think all of us somehow experience the impostor syndrome in our artistic path. That feeling of not being enough, having nothing to say, being stuck, being repetitive in our comfort zone, Whenever this happened to me, I don't give up, actually I start making some studies. And to do so, the sketchbook is my best friend. I can rely on it, making bad things, making exercise, experiments a lot. It can be your secret diary or you can do like me and show it to the world, including my mistakes. By the way, these ones you see are my first exercises with gouache and you see me getting really angry with it. Indeed, buying some new tools and experiment with new art supplies is a great way to avoid art blog and continuing to experiment and improve your art skills. Here you see me picking up animals, so a very easy subject for me, birds in particular. As I always been drawing in them, I think they are my comfort zone and I think picking up a comfort zone subject is very important when you are in an art blog situation. So going back to my lack of inspiration during the past month, I've been back to some original artwork after a long time of portrait studies in watercolor and I painted this lion with a crow stealing his eye. This was in my personal opinion one of the best watercolor work that I've done so far. So I decided to promote the possibility to buy prints of this on my social media channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, which currently have more than 3k followers each one and I was a bit sad that I get almost no response from it. Although in the past I sold several prints of, in my opinion, worse artworks than this. After that painting I've been inspired by Art Nouveau in a trip I had in Prague and I decided to transform a follower from Instagram in a piece of Art Nouveau. By the way you can see this as a video on YouTube with 10 tips for gold leafing, I leave you the link in the description. So this preamble was to say that in this past month of March I've been experiencing the art block mainly because I feel like I'm not enough and I decided to experiment on my sketchbook. And even if we all know that social media response doesn't grade the value of our work, I periodically have this feeling that pursuing an art career is impossible. So coming back to art block topics, your sketchbook is your best friend. I would suggest that you can choose your sketchbook based mainly on the type of paper you have and the dimension. I show you here three very different ones. This is small and portable. This is made of cotton paper, so you can use it for wet techniques and watercolor particularly. And the bigger one in the background I've been using lately and I will use today in this video and is made of cellulose and therefore is good for mixed media, gouache and small watercolor exercises. Therefore is in my opinion the most flexible one. Also having an A4 dimension, bigger page, allow you to experiment more with your imagination. Another great way to unlock your creativity when you are feeling stuck is to try a new medium. Here I show you my new gouache. So experiment with a completely different technique or buy some new materials is a great way. Drawing and painting up plein air or Urma sketching is also a great way to stimulate your imagination. Therefore you will need a small brush pen like this one and a small palette and one of these tiny sketchbooks that are portable. So let's see what works for me in particular. As I show you in my past video about gesture drawings and the figuary challenge, also link in description, I like to make studies directly with fine liner or pen without using pencil and eraser so it's very quick allow me to do some stuff also in a very short time period and also accept my mistakes and maybe incorporate them in my drawing. Or I can also focus on a specific topic like here where I merge watercolor directly on the paper instead of the palette to preserve their brightness. So let's dive in in a new sketchbook page. You can pick up your reference image from many websites, Freepik, Unsplash, Pinterest, Instagram, collect them in your own database so you won't waste too much time when you need them choose this beautiful photo of a deer from freepick.com and I want to experiment with colors so I will make a very light and quick sketch. Another interesting exercise you could do is to put colors directly on paper without a clear image and then figure out what you see in that. The 
Then I pick up a couple of water jars, tape the paper and get in ready for some painting session. With the help of fine liners, I want to define the deer a little bit more. I'm using here black fine liner and sepia brush tip fine liner. It might not be a masterpiece, I also didn't want to show you in this video, but actually I think it's important to show also failure, because actually is an exercise and this helped me to grow. As a second exercise for today, I want to show you a little portrait I do directly with pen, and then adding some watercolor. Reference is this girl in the picture from freepick.com.
and now it's your turn. Pick up a piece of paper, a brush or a pen and do something to avoid your art block situation. Do you have an experience art block? Let me know in the comments how you avoid it and what type of exercise you do it in this case. I hope this video was helpful at least to one of you in the same situation as me and as always I thank you very much for watching the video and I see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!